Hi, welcome to our video. Today I'm very excited to show you this IP67 waterproof, dustproof and shockproof dual SIM smartphone. It's a 3.5 inch phone, so we've got a 3.5 inch screen. We've got touch screens on the bottom here. On the top we've got the on and off button. We've got a USB port which is uh, hidden away under a waterproof tab. And we've also got the, uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the side here we've got the volume rocker and that's it really it's pretty concealed it needs to be to be waterproof and dustproof we've got a back facing camera and we've got a front facing camera as well so let me show you how the sim cards go in here i've got the screws unscrewed now you what you'd get you'd get two screws you would then screw that in obviously to make it watertight so that would screw in like that you get this with it as well once you take the back off you will see your two SIM slots there because it is a dual SIM phone you can use two SIMs if you want it takes two GSM SIMs and it's completely unlocked and you can use any SIM from the UK or the world actually simple as that and then we've got a memory card slot as well that takes up to 32 gigs there okay so I want to get this out of the way I want to show you that this is waterproof I have a bowl of water I've just chucked the phone in here, move it around a little bit. And there we have it. It's all still working. You might need to sort of dry it off and that. There's no water inside the phone. It's completely sealed. Do make sure if you're testing like this, you do have this closed and you have this tightly screwed in and you should be fine um, dipping it in water it is waterproof up to one meter for half an hour and uh, of course it's dustproof and shockproof as well thanks to that sort of rugged body let me show you what it comes with it comes with a micro USB charging and data transfer cable it comes with a nice uh, set of fetching red headphones these are quite good because they've got a microphone on them as well so you can take phone calls it also comes with a quick start manual unfortunately it's in chinese but um, android is very very easy so now that we've got it started let me show you how it works we've got our android desktop here so we can put widgets and icons on here on the top we've got a notification tray and we've got our quick settings here so i can turn data wi-fi bluetooth gps and things like that off and on and then we've got our buttons down here call contacts app tray messaging internet and then we've got our touch buttons here as well we've got a search back home and a menu button if I was to make out a call I can call out from either of my two sims so if I just call out like that and call I can choose which sim essentially it's like carrying two phones because both sims are active i can receive and call out from each of those sims so you can see down here i'm on vodafone and o2 both of them are active so if i was to get called from each of those i would receive the phone call texting is the same if i was to text out i would get a choice on which sim card i want to text out from so like that now this phone does come with the Google Play Store as well, so from here I can download new apps, new games, movies, books, even newspapers. Now I want to talk about this screen. This screen is an IPS multi-touch screen. Now IPS means it's better from ang all different angles, so if I show you on here you can see that it's quite good. And it's nice and bright and vibrant as well, so if I show you here. You can see the resolution and density is very very nice um, it looks very crisp it's very clear and it's got multi-touch too so I can pinch to zoom like that and it's very responsive you can see there it's a lovely screen to work with obviously on touchscreen phone the most important thing is the screen so you want it to be responsive and react to your touch internet works smoothly on this phone as well so i've got the uh, the bbc web page loaded up on here and as you can see it scrolls really nicely it's very smooth 
it's very responsive as well. If we just go on to here, you can see it's really fast and smooth. We've got obviously pinch to zoom as well. You can see the text is really nice and crisp. The camera on here is a 5 megapixel camera and I can take quite decent pictures with it as well. So if I take that picture of my Smurf, let's open it up. As you can see it's really quite detailed, it takes a decent picture. As you would expect from a smartphone it's got plenty of options so we've got exposure, colour, scene, white balance and change the megapixel and obviously it takes video videos as well we can do panoramic we can do smile shots as you would expect there's lots of options there for you to play with now this has also got a dedicated GPU graphics processing unit so you can play games on this quite well so what I'm going to do is just play a few games so you can see for yourself Okay, that's it on the gaming front. I could show you more, but you get the idea. This phone is a very capable phone. Okay, let's wrap it up. This phone, in my view, it's a superb, robust, rugged phone. If you need something that is extra strong, this uh, this phone will certainly do the trick. It's very, very hard wearing. Um, it's got a very tough screen. It's waterproof. It's dust proof. It's shock proof. It really is a great phone. If you're someone who needs a phone that is a bit more tougher, maybe you're a builder, maybe you're a mechanic, you need something to be quite tough, this is going to suit your needs. The bonus as well, it's got dual SIM, so if you've got a work SIM and a personal SIM, this will certainly help you as well. Other people, they may have a SIM for calling or a SIM for internet. Again, this would be perfect for you as well. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you choose to buy this wonderful phone.